Uh, all right, bruv. Oh, it's bruv. Uh, it's uh, uh, Cockney, uh, you know. How Let they, me suck your bell end, bruv. How, how British guys talk. This Let is me the most suck your you, you, you slobber knockers ledge. This is the most legendary mental podcast. <laughs> I didn't get enough. I didn't drink enough coffee before I hit the record button. Dude, gulp it down right the I fuck I fucked down. up. I can't. Gulp it. I can't. Chug it, bitch. You know, they say it's a... An aphrodisiac coffee. Oh, really? If you drink too much of it, you'll come in your pants. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> go, 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 well, that's go, the go. excuse I use. Dude, it's the first day of spring here in Brooklyn, New York City, where people fuck and get fucked. It's a dog fuck dog world out there in, <laughs> in uh, the Heartbreak Hotel in New York City. Hell yeah, dude. Check in. Room for two. Me and this hot bitch I'm about to fuck. And yeah. break her heart inside of me. Um, we're all Wall sick. Street guy. Everybody in New York's a Wall Street guy. Yeah. That's the thing people don't realize. Oh, I short sell everything, dude. Yeah. I was just short selling Apple the other day. Yeah. I just find the shittiest stuff and I say short that. You yeah. know? Absolutely. I'm good at like find I'm not I'm not good at finding good stuff, but I'm really dope at finding shitty stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah you know what's funny is like, you know, in the 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 Hollywood portrayal of finance guys is like, you know, Gordon Gecko Suspenders. or American Sni- uh American Psycho yes. or American Sniper. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, they're like they're fucking <laughs> cool. Gigolo. You know, they're cool guys that fuck a lot, but then like the real finance guys are like Martin Shkreli, you know, they're like nerds. Yeah. Yeah. You know? They're extremely. Do you think Martin Shkreli fucks? Uh, he- Hebraic, uh, <laughs> you know, looking guys. Not particularly. You know, they got into it from like baseball statistics. Right, right, right. Yeah. And the saber metrics, and then that's how. But the, the real guys, the guys like me, you know, who they portray as being Wall Street guys in the movies, were never in Wall Street. Guys with good hair. Yeah, guys, guys with good hair. Yeah. Guys who just always, uh, you know. On coke, yeah. On greenies, yeah. Guys What's are always greenie? on drugs. Greenie? That's old school meth, right? Or old school amphetamines. Baseball players should do that shit. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm done with Wall Street, dude. I'm too rich now. What I'm really into if, at my Wall Street job. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, what? Did you just pull the cucumber out of your pants? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You got surprises in store, dude. Were, well, you, were you stuffing it to make it look like you had a big ass dick? Well, yeah. I mean, it's the first day of spring. <laughs> you guys don't do the first day of spring stuffing. Yeah. This motherfucker had an 18 inch <laughs> cucumber in his fucking pants. It wasn't in your pants. It was in the couch. No, it was in my pants. Really? You, you don't do that on the first day of spring, huh? No, no. The vegetables are bloom, dude. This is the horniest day of the year for women. Is it actually the first day of spring? Or is it just no? It's the not. World it's just, just nice. Out. Out. Temperature is nice. It's nice out, but yeah, dude. You pack. You pack a fucking mean. That is a mean piece of so meat. So big. Yeah, you pack Adam, a giant it, cucumber you in your in pants. Your mouth, Adam? Do you Look, remember? You go to the store. You ride the train around. The looks you get on these days. I'll tell yeah. you, you do it in the middle of winter People are going to videotape you And put you on one of those sex blogs mm-hmm. Those sex assault blogs Like Jezebel Or, or you know CNN, CNN. One of these, That was yeah. beautiful by the yeah. way Well done You yeah. do it on the first day of spring The skirts are flying folks Oh yeah Do you remember we had that idea and, Where we wrote on a Starbucks cup Big dick guy Yeah right And, and then, then you yeah, get like bike you, shorts You get bike shorts And put like an eggplant in it And then contact the local news And you're and like, like <laughs> Guy with huge dick And be like This isn't fair to me <laughs> I don't understand why I have to be stereotyped <laughs> when I'm just trying to get coffee. Did we talk already about the guy with the giant ass dick that wraps his dick in gauze? Jonah Falcon? Jonah Falcon. No, no, no. There's another guy. There's like a fucking Hispanic guy. No, it's him and me. Those are the only two big dick guys. There's me and Jonah no, Falcon. No, there's another guy and me also. Um, and I have the biggest one of every of all of them. But Excuse yeah, there's me. a. Shall I put this back? <laughs> uh, would you want a dick that big? Of course, it's literally if you had the option, for the listener. It's literally eighteen inches. If you had the option, I don't know why you wouldn't choose world's biggest dick. So because you could. That's why fuck. they can't make that surgery. You can't fuck, dude. That's why well, they can't have to be look, gay. They can't right? make that surgery no, is because can't. people are like, oh, it's, they got breast implants, but they don't have dick implants, and it's because women are reasonable and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna get up to a D cup, and I'm not gonna go insane. If like men had breasts. And breast implants became real. They'd be like, 18Z. Yeah, They're course. like, it's, you will die in two years. He's like, I don't care. 
I want, I want the biggest them. fucking titties. I want you to transfer all the veins in my legs to my breasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make just, my quad tits. Yeah. It's just, I, it'd, be, it'd be men walking around with giant, huge tits, these shriveled legs, and then like big arms from having to drag themselves around on their knuckles. Like a big, like Donkey Kong with huge like tits. fat titted gorilla. Yeah, yeah. That'd that be so hot, cool. Dude. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, because that's what the future of gender is going to be. It's going to be a big old pair of tits with a 19-inch dick hanging off of it, <laughs> incapable of thinking for itself. Your brain's going to be powered by Apple. Uh huh. Apple's going to do all your thinking for you, and you're just going to have huge tits and a huge unusable dick. I think that, that if cool. that's what where society is headed, I think that's a more enlightened society. It is personally. because you get to choose your name. You yeah. get to choose your trans name. It can be something cool like Celestria. <laughs> yeah, it's all like heart medication names. Yeah, Celestria is awesome, dude. Hi, my name's Paxil. <laughs> it's like Pixel, but Paxil because Pax means peace in Latin. Yeah, it's all space princess shit. Mm-hmm. I want to be Zoroastria. I want to be fucking Sailor Moon, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> become trans. <laughs> what was running. Sailor Moon about? They were like little girls that yeah, were fine ass. There were four. There were four bitches. sailors. Huh? There were four sailors. Four sailors. Yeah, but there were girl sailors. They were on a boat called Venus. the the Di- Down Easter Alexa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what they fought crime. And there was some guy in a mask. Was there some guy who like threw roses at them and tried to fuck them or something? I don't know. I didn't watch that. Yeah, shit. you, dude. The guy that jacks off the hentai. Nah. That's who it was. First of all, I have a couple times, and also you have two, and you're both fucking lying. S- history will prove I'm on the right side of history when it comes to this issue, and you two are not. Oh, you got new shoes. Oh, you like them? Yeah. Thank you. And Great Hill Feelers. Where did you get those? Shoe City. I had them a, In I bought them a couple. Of, yeah, I bought them. A while ago, but I just had him, you know, the winter. You can't bring the felt out. Do you remember those Funk Master Flex lugs commercials where of course he I would be like do. stomping on the street and then like breaking the sidewalk? Yes, that's the era I had lugs. That was part of the reason. Those were the commercials on W on Raw. Were those the Birdman lug eras? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That era. Uh, and also, I also loved like wrestling. All the commercials were like lugs, and then Mike's hard lemonade. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> Mike's is clearly just trying to get children to drink fucking booze. Yeah. It's just like one hundred percent for fat teenagers watching. Dude, wrestling. You, you ever have Smirnoff Triple Black? I remember drinking that as a teenager. What is that? It's like tastes it's like Sprite vodka? Remix. Yeah. It, well, it's like oh, a beer. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like some kind of clear Sprite Remix beer. Yeah. It's good as shit, dude. It's really good. Yeah. It t- it straight up tastes like a raspberry sprite. Yeah. God damn, I want one of those now. Yeah. It's refreshing too. The sp- like it didn't uh, taste like they're too sugary. Yeah, for but me. You know, no, they're not that sugary. They're like actually pretty refreshing. Really? Yeah. And good. if you use promo code <laughs> cucumber dick, <laughs> you get them free. Are they still out there? Is Smirnoff Triple Black still out? Yeah, there? Yeah. Well, they, 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 I mean, a Smirnoff Ice is. So I'm sure. What does Smirnoff Ice even taste like? I don't know if I've ever had one. It's raspberry like. It's the same thing. Did I say raw? I meant SmackDown. Same shit. Nah, dude. Actually, completely different. SmackDown shit. is for the fucking proletariat, dude. Raw is for the corporate elites. Yeah, you didn't have. I didn't have cable. My dad got fucking... My dad, when we first got cable, he just got it so he could watch Greek news. He mm-hmm. used to like... That was the only cable we had was just like shitty tape-delayed Greek news. The bakery is closed today. <laughs> bad news, Greece. Bakery closed. <laughs> bad bakery may be open tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Stavros Father. You might as well be doing that. I don't know oh, what wait, the fucking I had a, accent I had a sounds like. Who gives a shit about Greece? Hold on. I got... I had they're so good, boring. They're not even worth stereotyping. One. Uh... My name is Bond, James Bond. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a mashup. I like that. <laughs> well, I'm going to fuck an octopusy with my uh, uh, penis. <laughs> what does he have a word for dick? I think he calls it his cham. His cram. That's yeah. right. No, isn't cram pussy? Kram. I don't know. I think cram is pussy. They should dude. cast uh, uh, a fucking Leslie Jones as James Bond just to make everyone mad. <laughs> that would be so good, dude. <laughs> What's your name? You know what my fucking name is. <laughs> what do you want to drink? A burr. <laughs> Did none of the James doing none of the James Bond stuff? Yeah. Let me get a stir, burr. Stir that burr. Stir up. that burr. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Stirred beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. She was just immediately blow her cover mm-hmm. for bragging about being a secret agent. Yeah. <sighs> that'd be a, that'd be a great departure from the series. I think that'd be a good way to reboot James Bond. <laughs> 
Just scratching your nose with that dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I got like a I got like a cyst or something inside my nose. I got like oh, a really? pimple like at the tip of my nose on the inside. Oh, I've had that. Before. It's the fucking worst thing yeah. in the goddamn world. Oh my god, you want to kill yourself when that shit happens? Yeah. The yeah. only way to cure it is to let one to of your kill friends yourself. put the tip of his soft penis in your nostril. And then the dick juices will dry it up. Um, here's what I wanted to talk about on this episode. Yeah. Uh, why isn't the show New York Undercover available for streaming anywhere? That's great. That's such a good show. It's such that's a good, a good show. Point. Dude, that's the best show Dick Wolf ever made. That was Dick Wolf? Yeah. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Tight, dude. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. It, I was, love that. it was Dick, it order, was Dick Wolf the f- was and, it uh, the first Dick Wolf and the CEO of Uptown Records. Uh, 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 James J- Earl Jones. Uh, no, James Earl J- Jones. That's right. J.R. Smith. J.R. Uh, uh, Melody. J.R. R. Tolkien. <laughs> J.R. Jimmy Tolkien. Jazz. What's his name? Uh, have you guys ever shopped at Jimmy Jazz? It's pretty uh, cool. They they have one in New York. Yeah. You know what it sounds like? Yeah. How does the you know the women's clothing store Charming Charlie? No. There's a women's clothing store called Charming Charlie, and it's like Forever 21, but mm-hmm. the name makes it sound, it sounds like a slave. <laughs> Char- doesn't it? Yeah. It definitely like, that's does. who the character, like, that's Morgan Freeman's character from uh, Driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never learned how to read. I'm just Charming Charlie. I know how to drive, but I never learned my letters. Ah, oh, fuck. Dude, the, the, the movie Latina sucks, woman dude. on... Driving uh, Miss Daisy? That movie sucks so much, Take dick. it back, dude. I've never seen Academy Award I've never seen film. it. <laughs> I've never seen it in my life. It's not worth but watching. But I have seen You're Gonna Cover. Bad. And that Latina woman in there is sexy as hell. Why is yeah. she always playing a hot cop? She was, wasn't she in Dexter, too, as the sexy cop? Maybe. She was. I don't yeah. know what that actress's name is. I only remember the two main guys, Malik Yoba and whoever played Eddie Torres. Yeah. Uh, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Yo, honestly, every day I think about Eddie Guerrero. There's not a day he goes by. Not a day goes by where I don't miss him. He cheated to win, and that's really my <laughs> yeah. philosophy in life. He was a slippery Latino willing to bend the rules. Him and Chris Benoit, R.I.P. The Crippler. Can you Dude, believe Adam's him? fucking dying? Yeah, what's wrong, man? Are you ever going to fucking survive? Jesus. <coughs> Right. Are you leaving? Adam's fucking leaving right now. He's having a <coughs> God. He's damn, having a dude. conniption. Dude, I feel. F- Jeez, are you seriously? Okay. Are you gonna die? I feel very bad because I was in Oklahoma for the weekend. Yeah, he was doing this shit yesterday. Are you gonna fucking die, Adam? So wait, there's uh, no way to stream New York Undercover? What, do you have to buy a DVD? Yeah, no, yeah, I, you might be able to buy a DVD somewhere. But it's, I don't want to buy a regular DVD because, you know, I got all this shit. My next purchase, if I'm going to buy home media, is going to be a uh, 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 an Ultra HD Blu-ray player. Oh, hell yeah, dude. And then, I, you know, I'm not, buying, I'm not putting fucking regular DVDs in that, no, you know? Dude, that's disrespectful Do you put me. your fucking 18-inch dick in... A horse pussy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, you, you need find that the tight, tightest, tightest, youngest, the youngest, <laughs> most beautiful pussy you ever fucking seen, and you fucking destroy and that he, fucking and pussy. And you either fuck that or you fuck your Ultra HD Blu-ray player, <laughs> barring a, a pussy to find. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck, man, you gotta find the good one. Um, I watched Total Recall recently. What, the original or the remake? The original, dude. It was fucking tight. Yeah, it's a great movie. I've never seen so many movies, but... Yeah, the remake is pretty good, actually, too. Really? Yeah. Like, maybe I'll watch that. Sharon Stone was sexy as a fucking... Yeah. As hell, dude. Mm-hmm. Was that... What you... I thought you were my wife! Yeah. I yeah. thought you were, you were wives with each other! I love that his name is Quaid. Yeah. Like, getting on the talks like that is yeah, yeah. fucking Quaid. Well, they have to do that with every, like, Arnold movie where it's like, I was born and raised in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. My character is stroke. And that's why he talks like this. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. He's so such a strange actor, but he's so fucking good. Yeah, well, the uh, the best is because they had to do that with all those guys. Like they always have to find a way to explain 
um, you know, fucking uh, uh, his accent or JCVD's accent right, right, right. or a Sylvester Stallone's speech impediment <laughs> right, 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 right. or, you know, uh, you know, he's from like, he's from Maryland, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he went to uh, Blair. Yeah. Yeah, at the same time as um, Goldie Hawn and Ben Stein. Yeah, we've talked about this. Have we? Yeah. yeah. The, the best, the most famous person uh, from my high school was... A wide receiver from the Packers. That's cool. Antonio something. Antonio Banderas. <laughs> Antonio Banderas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was catching Dude. passes from <laughs> Brett Favre. That when when uh, when Shrek Three came out <laughs> yeah. with uh, Puss in Boots, like they wa- they screened the film for everybody who was in the movie. And there's some quote from Antonio Banderas, like an interview. He's like, "When I saw my performance, I was crying. <laughs> That's how good I was at Puss in Boots." <laughs> It's like, first of all, crying at yourself is fucking, you're a stupid asshole. But crying at yourself because of a cartoon cat? Right, what do you mean saw your performance? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a fucking cat. Yeah, right. When I saw the work of I the unpaid to cry. Yeah. Taiwanese animators, yeah. I cried. What a piece of shit. But yeah, no, they do that in all those movies with those guys' accents. And the best is Hard Target with... Uh, they just decided to make JCVD Cajun because they're like, yeah, it's close <laughs> enough. Doesn't sound Cajun at all. Not Still sounds close. like a Belgian guy. <laughs> Not even close. But then they have fucking Wolford Brimley as his Cajun uncle in the movie. <laughs> and they're the, he's like, my nephew, it is so good to see you. <laughs> it's like, this is bizarre. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people with the worst kind of accents. Awful, yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen The Firm with uh, Tom Cruise, the yeah, John yeah. Grisham movie? Yeah. Wilford Brimley is a bad guy in it. And yeah. There's a chase scene at the end <laughs> where it's Tom Cruise, young, hot, in shape, running yeah, as yeah. fast as he can, and then fat, waddly <laughs> Wilford Brimley. <laughs> and like, there's That's no way chase. that they, that there's no way, like on foot, and there's no way that they're keeping pace with each other. <laughs> and then the, he's like, if you got diabetes, you know, like <laughs> yeah. he's just fucking chasing after Tom Cruise. It's the funniest chase. How scene. does it end? Uh, Wilford Brimley wins. No, Wilford no, Brimley think, catches him. No, no, I think yeah, lose? Tom. Uh, they end up in like some storage room, and Brimley has the shotgun or whatever. Doesn't oh, he get like shot right. like thirty-five times? He's like impossible to kill. Yeah, uh, Wilford Brimley. Fat. Yeah, in the firm. Yeah, uh, I don't remember pretty, it. At, that's crazy because I actually much. have something pretty firm for you guys. Like a law firm? No. What? It's like a describing something. <laughs> oh, we'll get it. We'll get to it later. Okay. Um. Man, what? I've been wanting to rewatch The Mummy. <laughs> Why? I don't know, dude. I got a mummy hankering. I really want to rewatch those shitty Brendan Fraser movies. <laughs> Whatever happened to Brendan Fraser, dude? My man was He in went everything. bald as hell. Yeah, really? he's had they he's had like him, yeah they he's, diagnosed him retarded. Well, there's too. guy yeah, <laughs> there's guys that like go bald so they get on fin or something or they get hair plugs and it looks like shit, but they can manage. And then there's guys that try everything and like still their hair is like no. Oh really? And fucking, he's he's like that, where he's like desperately hanging on. His hair looks like a, like Trump, you know, yeah, where yeah, it looks yeah, like yeah. absolute fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he has that diffuse balding, where it's not like like you got, where it's fucking. No, I have. Uh, where you have hair, your hairline's so, yeah. receding, but then the rest of it just looks I have like pretty good hair. Yeah, absolute so kind shit. Of like a you know, person than me. Yeah, whereas, yeah. <laughs> like, who are you talking? Yeah. So he has fine hair. Yeah, like the hair on your head looks like leg hair. It's pretty cool. It looks fine. I just choose to keep it. It looks short. like spar. It looks like the hair. I think my hair actually. Looks you know what fine. your scalp looks like on uh, my leg, where my cool wallet rubs against my thigh. Scalp. It looks like my ass. Yeah, I think it looks like a fine, powerful viral virile man. No scalp. viral. What's the, what am I trying to go for? V- viral? Vir- viral? Viral? Your, your head looks viral. like your head looks like viral. the last pumpkin left in the patch. Um, I think it looks like, like the one that's there on the like first. December first. No, it's a. And they're like, we're not going to sell this 15th thing. Pumpkin, dude. No, that's this is sad, that good, dude. good. That's pumpkin. really sad. I know. It's such a sad image. But the last pumpkin. No one wanted to pick him. Yeah, I think. Well, that's what your head looks like, stuff. This is no. This is. A, I got an October fifteenth head, dude. And I got a fucking. So you admit your head looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but a good ass pumpkin. <laughs> Look, there's no doubting I have a gigantic head. I, I just had a sudden flashback to being in third grade and getting molested. And getting molested. <laughs> right. Having a and pumpkin yeah, stalk yeah. shoved in your ass yeah, on yeah. Halloween. <laughs> nah, this is completely unrelated, but like, uh, I was in the bathroom uh, at my school 
and there was a retarded kid at the urinal, and he had his pants pulled down all the way to the ground. Of Hell course. yes, classic. Uh, which, again, how do they all? I don't know, but we've as yeah, they are well to do. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. How, how, it's how, awesome. I just don't get it. How do Let's they just all be know? happy? Ba- why do you have to know why rainbows? Because they're happen? on the list. It's a dude. beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. Let nature fuck. Enjoy nature's beauty. Well, dude. maybe I've even it's told true. this story already. But uh, where we're, I'm watching the, the the kid at the year, I'm washing my hands or something. And these two other kids come in and they see the him with his pants all the way down, and they start laughing. And he gets nervous and clenches his ass, and it just <laughs> like the it, it like highlights all the cellulite in his ass. <laughs> So Wait, how old is this kid? Uh, well, he's he was young, but he was black. So cheese ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he clenched his ass, and it was all dimpled and shit while he, people were laughing at him. <laughs> and just the way it, like, tensed up was so funny. <laughs> That's the flashback you just yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I was imagining a it all child's up. ass. <laughs> 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 Wow. Well, that's what's in your mind's eye right now. Well, Memories I was imagining a fucked up old rotten pumpkin, <laughs> all dimply and stuff. What do you think that retarded kid with the like Edward James Olmos's now, face? Yeah. Yeah, he's got a pockmarked face. Yeah. But there's a lot of celebrities that got really fucked up faces. And you're like, yeah. how did you? Because they're not good actors either. And it's like, like, like Jimmy who? Smith's. Jimmy, Jimmy Smith, Smith's it's all Latino. Man. Jimmy Smith's is like one of his eyes is like six and a half <laughs> inches away from the rest of his face. Nah, Jimmy Smith. He's got this some, like fucked up does eye. He? Yeah, dude. He's an okay looking he's guy. A, he's a cute man. No, his skull looks like uh, uh, what was that fucking? He's got gravitas. There was, like a, there was like a PlayStation name called like like Nightmares or something or Nightmare. And the, I, don't the, the, I don't know. The main character was like a Jack Skellington type, but it, one of his eyes was bigger than the other. And I think that's that's what I think of when I see Jimmy Smith. I think Jimmy Smith is hot, dude. No, he's got a fucked up eye, dude. Trust me. I don't know. I can't. I don't see it. Well, uh, wasn't he a president in West Wing? He, he was a candidate in the last season. Oh, I never watched. Did he it. play a Barack Obama? He played Basically, Barack he played Obama. Latino Barack mm-hmm. Obama. Um, I like that there was a black president on 24. Yeah, the Allstate guy? Yeah, the Allstate guy. Was he even... What did he even do as president on that show? He made sure everyone got He was just like, uh, terrorism is bad. That's it. But wasn't There was it, no reason to even have a president on the show. That think. show was li- just took a span in one day. That's the gimmick? Yeah. yeah. So who knows, man? It was just one day for the president. That's true. Maybe he had a very successful administration. Yeah. Apparently the new one is like extra Islamophobic. Dude, yeah, I watched and the like beginning fl- of it at the because it, it was on after yeah, the Super yeah. Bowl, and it just starts with just Muslims killing ch- women, <laughs> like Muslims, yeah. Muslims kidnapping and murdering women and children <laughs> with that cool music playing. Yeah, <laughs> then and then always the text at the bottom of the screen. It's like the. Yeah. Like computer text. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The printout. So, yeah. The spot. We're spying on Muslim sound effect. <laughs> yeah, the green font. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. 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 means that they're being observed by a, a fucking drone that's going to kill them <laughs> and their entire family at a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I watched uh, an episode of while at the hotel in Oklahoma what? was uh, fuck this this movie called or a show called Animal Kingdom. Based oh, that, off that movie, Australian. Yeah, I haven't seen the Australian one, but it's like an American, and it was actually pretty good. And uh, I think is her name Ellen Barkin or some shit. She the had, actress. Yeah, yeah, she is sex. Some old lady. Old lady. With big ass. She's titties, fire. Dude. Yeah, she's hot. She's like American Helen Mirren almost. Helen Mirren takes the cake for sexy old ladies. For sure. No, Ellen Barkin, uh, she's on Twitter. She's like real horny on Twitter. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I would love to find out. I haven't checked in in a couple years on that, but last time I checked in, she was pretty horny. Who's the hottest? You know who sucks? Ellen Page. I feel Uh, like every every year she keeps making another movie that looks like it was made in 2003. (laughs) They all have the same fucking... uh, The only movie I know of hers is Juno. No, she's been in a million movies. They're all fucking really boring. She told Ted Cruz she's a lesbian. Yeah. That was was a cool move. Can we talk about who... We can talk about Ellen Page she's talking, but who do you think the hottest old lady is? Nick, I feel like you don't want to fuck old ladies because you're... You don't witness, you don't appreciate beauty in all its forms. That's true, I don't. I will say this. You brought her up before. Helen Mirren, I was eating ramen at that place, Ipudo, like uh, near the East Village. Yeah. And uh, Helen Mirren was at the table next to us. Really? I saw her 
professionally crush a bowl of ramen. Oh damn! And she's was she? Slurping? I've never I've never wanted to fuck more. In was my she life. slurping? Was she like good? Why? Because she reminded you of a, a Chinese girl. <laughs> Because of her diet no, choices. No, because she can fucking eat, dude. I like a lady that knows how to eat. He saw I those chopsticks. Doing sticks. math and yeah, he saw those chopsticks. Eating oh, wasabi. <laughs> and he's like, "When's your? What's your your fucking sign? No, I mean like your zodi- your Chinese zodiac. Dragon. Oh, really? Because yeah, I'm fucking. Yeah. I'm rooster. <laughs> I saw her bring up the rear of a dragon in a New Year's Chinese yeah. New Year's parade. Some of them are shitty. Some um, people are like Year of the Rat. That's gotta suck. Yeah, yeah. that's not a good one. I yeah. think she, I'm one of those. Was she hot? Rabbit. Though? Rabbit's I mean, no, she really what? Eighty seven. She fucking could eat. Nineteen eighty seven uh, is rabbit. Uh, eighty seven. I'm eighty seven. Yeah, yeah. Rabbit. I think I'm, I'm eighty nine. I think that's something cool. No, it's a uh, dog. No, it's the big dick warrior. No, it's some shitty thing. Nineteen eighty nine year of. So wait, you wouldn't fuck any old ladies? None come to mind. Uh, hot old ladies. Oh, yo, uh, Joe Biden's wife. I think could get it. Yeah, I agree. She looks good. Um, um, I've already talked about how I want to fuck Kellyanne Conway. You do? I don't know, man. She's looking bad. She, she's got a she's got like a young voice that you I want to fuck. Chinese Zodiac, nineteen eighty nine. Let's see here. Snake, bitch. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Were you eighty eight? Uh, stop. Sounds like there's air escaping from him. No, yes, dude, yeah, stop deflated. <laughs> yeah, stop got snagged on a fucking dude, uh, I would the edge that. of the First mailbox. All, on the you guys in. say that like it's an insult, Stop's but I would flying love to around get the room right now, by just the getting walls. poked by something. <laughs> <laughs> that seems so much easier than yeah. diet and exercise. Yeah, well, Wait, we you're thought it was. I'm 87. Oh, ah, come on, yeah. man. God That's damn it, cool. Nick got the dragon. <laughs> yeah, I know. Your dragon. Dragon's the best one. That is so much the best one. That's why I'm the leader of the crew. Dude, I'm the leading. No, Dragon's not the best one because Dragon's the only one that's not real. What Are you, you kidding? You think a dragon is not the best one? Yeah. Let's rank these shits, dude. No, the best one is rat uh, sucks. Ox lion. is cool. Tigers, tigers cool. Tigers tight. You're the tiger. That's the best one. There's monkey. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Horse. That one's gay. That one's for nah, autistic they have girls. Big ass you know dicks, what? Dude. Horses, man, don't get their due. I think. Yeah, dude. I agree. Horses. They're muscular have been as hell. Like the most. They've been the best to humans out of any fucking. You ride those bitches animal. on on no dogs. Dogs no, have been the best. Horses humans. got us around for yeah, until dude, like were the twentieth century. No, they were cars. Camels did. Camels. Horses more camels than are cars. little dick camels. ass camels, dude. Or horse cam- not camels. Not only that, but you horses. can fucking drink a camel, dude. They have extra water in them. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. All I'm saying is, dude, if you can drill suck a hole, off a horse's if dick. you drill a hole in the in the hump of a camel, you can drink <laughs> the water in there. That's why people use them in the desert. Nah, dude. Because you can put a straw, a hole, yeah. <laughs> like, like a coconut, put a little yeah. umbrella in that bitch. So painful that would be to the end. <laughs> <laughs> the camel's just screaming. <laughs> have you ridden? Have it's you just ridden? Like, I just, you're on birthright in Israel, just have fucking destroying their camel? camel. No, of course not. I've because we're not, we're not. Oh, you have? Yeah. And birthright? Uh, in Israel, yeah. Damn. It wasn't on birthright. I never did birthright, but yeah. Yeah, you I, did. I wrote. No, I did. That's when you fucked that Russian bitch or whatever. No, that was like on a year program. Birthright is like a 10 day free trip. You've never done it? Is no, because you, you, you do it if you if you've never been. But I I'd, I'd been there. You'd gone a lot as f- so many times. Can I fake being Jewish to get that trip? Yeah, yeah. People lie their way on that all the time. Yeah, there's also a birthright for people who aren't Jewish. Is there? Yeah, because I mean they care they care so much about like PR, propaganda. yeah, and propaganda yeah. that they'll. Oh yeah, isn't that what Michael Bennett was gonna do? Yeah, that's pretty cool. He said he's not gonna yeah, go. He said, "Fuck you, fucking Jews." Yeah, I ain't doing shit. I'm gonna go as a tourist. I'm not your PR pawn. That's pretty cool. Should we go though? Should we be there? You can cut off his age twenty seven. Yeah, I think that's true. Fuck! I just turned twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, looks um, like it's back to the pumpkin patch for you, bitch. <laughs> Dude, the pumpkin patches are fun places. I will say that a camel's There's breath cider. is one of the worst smells I've ever smelled. In my well, was that life. before or after you put your dick in it? <laughs> I didn't put my dick in it. You, smell, my you girl smell like a camel mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you girl pussy smell like a camel mouth. Well, they smoke those nasty cigarettes all day long. <laughs> they do. It's yeah. like, it, what it, kind it, of sunglasses excuse me, camel have? But you can't just put sunglasses uh, on and not brush your teeth. 
<laughs> it doesn't make you cool. <laughs> Did he have a blazer? Did he yeah, have a, he had a cool blazer? jacket on. Yo, I loved Joe Cool when I was a baby. Dude. Yeah, when Joe Campbell was, was awesome. Yeah his, yeah, his face looks I remember like being testicles. three years old and being like, I want to smoke those cigarettes. Oh. When I'm old enough, aka five years old, <laughs> I'm going to smoke those cigarettes. Dude, I had a fucking Joe Camel hat that I loved that I wore yeah, yeah. everywhere. Advertising straight up works and yeah. everyone is a oh, fucking yeah, liar. Sure. Well, oh, it works on four year olds. Yeah. doesn't work on me as an adult. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, dude. You no, I'm, I'm. The only what works on me is brand loyalty. If I buy one of your products and it's good, I'll buy everything else that fucking company makes. I'm the same that's, way. That's old man's advertising. No, right? it's not. That's My making dad, like, something and having up. like consistent quality shut across up. your product line. I'm never gonna buy something and be like, oh wow, this that commercial fucking. You know, this commercial, like, uh, look, nah, it's a, a beautiful know. couple. I feel like mm-hmm. we just don't watch as many commercials anymore. No, I, I do, too. I, I, think, I think aspirations have been enough to internal, uh, like internalized by, like, how narcissistic the generation is that advertising has much less of an effect than it used to. Well, because you get all your aspirational messaging from, like, internal sources. Like, what your bros Like, yeah, what the, your shit. delusions of grandeur in your own fucking head about what you're capable of as mm-hmm. a, you know, 25-year-old. Yeah. Well, I, I will say that I do do Cialis because of the two bathtubs <laughs> next to yeah. the lake. Oh, I yeah. Just have you a made wife. the big switch from Viagra to Yeah. Cialis. I just want to have a wife that loves me that much. <laughs> and it just looks like really romantic that, yeah. they're, that they're next to a lake, but for some reason they're in bathtubs, which is another type of, uh, you know, water thing you could sit in. I remember when I, because I, I, I was pissing all the time and I went to the doctor and one of the reasons that... Fuck. Stop fucking spinning the cucumber. You're going to knock the recorder over. Nick is spinning the cucumber like, like, a, dr- like a drumstick, dude. Um, I always wanted to learn oh, how to do God that. God damn it. I always wanted to learn how to do that, dude. God damn it. How to, spin, how to spin a fucking the drumsticks so I could go to the Music and Arts Center and press all the, the cool guitar guys. Yeah. Let's go to Guitar Center after this right now and try to make some friends. Let's do a live what you were saying. We should do a live one for, or a. Uh, we should do a live, live pod from Guitar Center. <laughs> not live, but like remote. Anyway, I have a, a fun Seattle story. One time when I was, I, I went to the doctor, and one of the reasons you could piss all the time is like your prostate was too big or some shit, mm-hmm. and. and uh, he was like, "Is it possible that your penis was so small no, it was that it couldn't opposite. hold all the yeah, piss?" I think that's no, true. I think that's what no, I've that's, had. That's actually medically not what accurate. At all. Yeah. Actually, it was well. Too the, big, I, there's not enough room actually, for all the I piss have a in your story. Stop it, interrupting yeah, me. In, thank infant's you. penis. <laughs> 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 you, have, you have the penis of a newborn baby. <laughs> we call it yeah, em, but honestly, the embryo's dick, penis, the biggest dick newborn baby. Yeah. Well, I've got good news and bad news. Is the good news is? Did you know that? Uh, to their size barnacles actually have the biggest dicks in the world the bad news is is that you are not the size of a barnacle <laughs> uh, but you do have a barnacle sized dick um, anyway he gave me Cialis just in case like apparently that also like helps, helps you shrink your prostate or some shit yeah Whoa. and uh, and for so I had like four pills and I fucked like a champion those four times, dude. Yeah, it was awesome. I kind of wow. wanted to Your try dick that shit. Stays hard. But as I wanted, hell. I wanted to take them before. Like extra big, dude. Extra fucking strong, pumped up, strong. Because you, you know can you keep can get an eighty percent or sometimes. You bo- oh, oh, I'm I, the king I of never, a I never have. Full I haven't dick. had, I haven't had my dick full since I was like seventeen. Yeah, no, I absolutely. I, 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 my I entire agree. sexual prime, I didn't fuck. Yeah. I didn't fuck until after my dick was trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and <laughs> same here. And fucking, uh, back when it, when it shrunk the uh, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You stood too close to when the I was, <laughs> When I was 15, I, I dipped it. I fell dick first dick. into the the, uh, the fountain river's of youth. Dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my yeah. dick shrank. Um, That's why, uh, the, uh, Pon- was it Ponce de Leon? He explored Florida looking for dick pills. Yeah, it's the true. fountain of big dickery. Is it Ponce de Leon? Um, or Va- yeah, the fountain, Vasquez? The fountain of eternal Grievous youth. Vasquez. Um, Grievous Vasquez, University Former of Maryland. University of Maryland. Yeah, yeah. Later with the Raptors and the Grizzlies. Who I was believe. it? Who was looking for the fucking fountain of youth? I think it was Fuck Dilla uh, Suck. It's a bunch of people. Yeah, Fuck nah. Dilla Suck for sure. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, it was. Fuck Dilla Suck is so good. <laughs> in, in, in Spaniard, Florida, they were looking for the fucking. Yeah, yeah. 
Who is that faggot's name? I think I think it was think Ponce, it was Ponce. Leon. Yeah, I think it was. And to be clear, I said faggot because I was referring to a person from Spain. <laughs> I didn't mean that as in a homophobic as a gay, way. Yeah. I'm, I'm the guy really that gay, I'm the guy actually that say doesn't that. say faggot on the show. I'm just I don't one, say it either. I'm just the one it. with the horrible. Why would I say it? Why would I offend actual my community? opinions yeah. about race? I don't use slurs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm the one that <laughs> I'm the one who does use slurs, but is actually pretty cool otherwise. Yeah. And I have a big dick. I have a biggest dick out of all three. <clears throat> anyway, right? Yeah, guys? ponce is like a British slang too for like a like yeah. if someone's a ponce, they're like a like a like faggot. A British, <laughs> but yeah, all <laughs> all British words are homophobic <laughs> because ponce. they're also just homo. You know? Yeah, oh yeah. they're homophonic. By the way, they I was sound in- gay. That, I learned that's what homophones mean the other day. <laughs> yeah, Those are two it's words, words that homophonic. sound gay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Adams is very homophonic. Yeah. Um, if you're, by the way, I was like I said, I was in Oklahoma, and if you're gay and live in Oklahoma, yeah, and you don't call yourself, queers, dude, an Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're don't really even missing fuck out, with me, dude. Don't even, don't even. You know what I call Oklahoma is uh, Joe Oklahoma. Woo! Ooh. Hook 'em horns. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Texas Razorbacks, forever. Dude. Yeah. Yo, dude. by the way, I looked up what a Razorback was because the, the part of Oklahoma I was it's a was pig. right by mm-hmm. Arkansas. It's a fucking just a homeless pig. Yeah, it's a, yeah, a nasty ass a pig. A formerly domesticated pig. That Dude, just pigs went out. go feral in like two generations. <laughs> That's tight. It's a, for like a like a fucking babe two pig in the city pig. You know, <laughs> a regular Sarah Jessica Oinker. You know, <laughs> babe four is just a fucking fucked up mean yeah. rapist pig. It, to go from that to go from that to like a fucking wild boar it takes like two generations that's yeah that's right. what the show girls is about yeah <laughs> it's about how the sex in the city girls aka the babe two pigs in the city turn into uh razorbacks <laughs> Lena Dunham. <laughs> Lena Dunham. <laughs> yeah, the she government is. of Texas is offering fifty dollars for every Lena Dunham you can kill. <laughs> it's true. They're just rooting through your trash. The problem is with them, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta make sure you I shoot them an just above the breastplate <laughs> because they're very difficult to kill. Folks. Luckily, Absolutely. they never wear clothes, so yeah, it's easy to see where the breastplate is. Mm-hmm. I've never seen. I've only seen like two episodes of Girls. It's trash. But one of them is the, where one of them gets fucked out a window or something. Jessa, the hot one, gets fucked out a window. I think. She's 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 not even hot. She's hot. Are you crazy? She's all right. Yeah, whatever. She's hot. She's hot. I kind of fuck with... Uh, I, th- I think it's funny Though that- in popular culture, he was supposedly searching for the Fountain of Youth. There is no contemporary evidence to support the story, which is likely a myth. Mm. Oh. About Ponce de Leon, former Look governor of Puerto Rico. Look at this bitch doing research, dude. I didn't know he was cool the governor of Puerto Rico. Bro. It's against bitch. the rules of the pod. How many Pinocchios no. was that? Uh, you gay ass. Well, I, I just like that Ponce de Leon was Puerto Rican. That is pretty funny. Which is fucking like that's cool. Yeah, we gotta find this fucking fountain <laughs> of youth, dude. Not every Puerto Rican is Lewis. He's <laughs> 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 the stupidest. He's the on with Lewis camo Puerto pants. Rican <laughs> Puerto Rican. <Yeah. laughs> dude, there's a fucking fountain. Check this out. No, it's real. <laughs> we gotta watch MMA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only sport I watch is is conquistadoring. <laughs> Fucking mixed martial cockfighting. What did they think? What did the uh, Mayans think that the conquistadors were riding on? Because they'd never seen horses before, right? I don't so know. they saw them on horse. I forget what it was. Dragons, angels. They thought it was like uh, cows or something. I don't know, but they thought they were like fucking gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they just fucking imagine that must have been so fucking sweet. Have you seen that movie it's Apocalypto? Mel Gibson. I've been trying to look yeah. for it. It's not on any streaming services. That shit services. is fucking sick, man. Yeah, I'm a huge MG fan. Yeah, we talked about this already. Oh, okay, never Mel mind. Gibson. Yo, well, so I went to IKEA this week. Oh yeah. And uh, I was thinking about this. How about a place called Guy Kia, where Uh-oh. it's like IKEA, but it's just for just for guys. Everything you need for your man cave. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Modular nice. man caves. That was the business business idea i so hope you fucking like hurt yourself really badly doing that someday i'll never hurt myself i hope limber as fuck you're not limber what the fuck are you doing smoking with you you just cough the fucking lung up he's vaping vaping. he's not vaping dude fucking bitch you're gonna get lung cancer 
Throw that away. You can't get lung cancer from vape. <laughs> yeah. It's it's so You're much worse for you than smoking right now. I know dude. it's fucking. It's gonna. Dude, we're gonna find out that this is like destroyed an entire generation. Hundred percent. And everyone, all, I can't wait until all the smug fucking libertarian idiots that fight, were like, no, oh, it's better for you. That would be awesome if it wiped out. Like if it's like the black plague for Ron Paul voters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like once once vaping is bad. Right. First of all, <laughs> first of all, you guys are not part of the for cl- people that are such skeptics no, okay, of like. Me, everything yeah except you know this new private company that's like incentivized the science <laughs> you know. it would be awesome if they die because of something that's not regulated yeah, <laughs> that yeah. would be so beautiful all right can i speak can i defend myself Go ahead, bitch okay you guys are not part of the cloud chucking community okay <laughs> you guys don't know what it's like to chuck massive cloud you don't know what it's True. like to you know clearly there isn't there hasn't been Many, uh, you know, medical institutions uh, research this besides maybe Harvard, who said it gives you popcorn lung. Um, <laughs> and popcorn lung is popcorn when your lungs like turn into like popcorn 270. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was about Gang to say. Gang shit. Gang shit. Gang shit. <laughs> and if that's how my lungs want to be, that's how my lungs can be. If you get popcorn lung, I'm going to slice you open and fucking eat that fucking popcorn, dude. Hell, Hell yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, I swear to God. Thank you Throw so some much, butter bro. on that shit. That's what I'm gonna do at your at your fucking casket. We're gonna have an open casket. Me slicing. Jews don't open have open lungs. casket, bro. They don't. No. Really? No. It's Never? too expensive. No. <laughs> that's no. That's some weird. They don't want to do the fucking. Makeup. That's some weird Catholic yeah. shit. A Jewish a Jewish you, funeral. A, a Jewish funeral. Paint it to look like it's alive. <laughs> and a Jewish they funeral. They did a great job is, with the is they they oh, lay that's the my they lay the body out and then all, everyone else goes through the pockets and. <laughs> Takes the money out and then they leave it for the earth to <laughs> no. dispose of. You're naked in a pine box wrapped in a shroud. Really? Yeah. And it's not an elaborate casket. It's not allowed to be. I kind of. You know what I was thinking the other day? Respect I was, on that. I was thinking about death and I was worried about it. And then I thought, you know, I kind of wouldn't mind it if I was entombed. Like they put me inside some kind of big statue. Like Joseph Stalin? Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. I want a, I want a big <laughs> statue. I want to be standing upright with a sword. <laughs> We're going to have fucking Adam in your tomb alive. With yeah, you. yeah. I want him sealed in there and then suck all the air out with candles. Have the candles burn. And it seems to me you've lived your life like a candle. And there will be no the singing wind. or speaking inside the tomb. I'm going to sing, dude. You're dead. You're, you can't tell me what to do. Uh, well, dude, mommy the, Nick is going to come The rattlesnakes will take care of that pretty quickly. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think it would be cool if I just had a, had a statue inside of a cobra pit. And then I want them to also break all of my bones and extend them so everyone thinks I was eight feet tall. <laughs> I want to be buried getting my dick sucked yeah. by a sexy skeleton. Yeah. What do you mean buried getting your dick sucked? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? That means nothing. <laughs> what do you mean? It means exactly what it means, dude. I want to be in a yeah. fucking. I Check this be- shit out. I want. I want to. I want to have my <laughs> dick buried inside your mom's ass. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's oh, how that's I want to cool. be interred. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, I'm in a casket. But when I say I want to be sucked. interred, I want my dick to be in the turds inside your mom's <laughs> ass. <laughs> You know how like everyone <laughs> makes fun of like your mom, my mom and Walt Disney and Elon Musk type people for like getting their brains frozen. Like, yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't you do that? Because it doesn't matter. No, Walt Disney's fucked. Uh, anyone who's cryogenically frozen, yeah. they got they're gonna bring him. They're gonna bring him back in like 2080, and Walt Disney's gonna be like, "Wow, thanks, Kikes." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then just say goodbye to all the computer scientists <laughs> that brought him back. Like, oh, why did we do this? We Not finally dude. took over the world. <laughs> and we brought him back to make cartoons. <laughs> yeah, they needed Beauty and the Beast too, dude. Yeah. They made a live action Beauty and the Beast. With fucking Hermione, dude. With Brandy. Yeah. Dude, I was I worked on the uh they well, have like fucking Cinderella. They have promos right. for for that yeah. shit all over Sorry. uh Hulu. And I worked on that was like one of the commercials I worked on. Oh really? Yeah, so I was there with fucking Emma Watson. Did you fuck her? Yeah, we had sex. Hell uh, yeah, she looks wait, good. Dude. Legally speaking, we we had I had sex with Emma Watson, <laughs> which means you walked in on her. T- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> Do not say that. <laughs> no. Which means you walked in on her taking a shit. No, I right? didn't. No, we didn't interact at all. I mean, they had me mostly. I just, fucked her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you fuck her? Or did you walk in on her taking a shit? No, I fucked her, but yeah. at a different time. No, I had to like it's peel. The same thing. I had to peel like ten thousand rose petals. You can count that. 
Is really? it Emma? No, they had to like blow rose petals off, like part. Oh, that was your job. And yeah, and so I had to sit there for like eight hours peeling rose. And Nick was petals. just sitting there. He loves me. He loves me. <laughs> not. He loves me. <laughs> Fucking fit. <laughs> oh shit! You Who, said it. I damn. didn't say. It. I said. I'm fat. the only one who hasn't said it. I called him fat. You say it every episode. No, I don't. You say it like every other sentence, dude. Yeah, no. it's your favorite word. First of yeah. all, I haven't said it in weeks. No, I've had numerous people tell me that they can't listen to the show anymore because of how homophobic you are. That's not true. No, I'm serious. You're the main point of contention with the show. It's not. It's not me. No, it's <laughs> clearly me. No. I'm the main point of contention with the show because I the uh, I, I because I'm cl- I. I'm out and proud. Do you know your band from Legion of Skanks? If I did Legion of Skanks the other night, they said your band. Why? For because you were the one that was talking shit on the way they look. No. Yes. Band. Yeah. There is like you can come back, but Stav's band. And I was like, I don't know why I'm in trouble. I was just, Stav was the one that said it, and they were like, because you know you guys kind of operate as a group. So he's like, I'm, what am I not going to be mad at you because like you know? That's fine. Somebody in your group they can said ban something? this dick. Yeah. How about that? No, you're banned from Legion of Skanks, dude. Yeah, well... Whereas I'm welcome. <laughs> and then they also showed a picture of Adam and everyone was making fun of you. Yeah, in, I, uh, yeah but I joined in, so I, that made it okay. What did they say about me? Well, they were ma- laughing at that picture of you with the Lou Bega hat on. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. It's a good pic. <laughs> Someone took that and posted it during the Berkeley riots. Yeah, I know. I retweeted it. That shit that was hilarious. That was so funny. Yeah. yeah. Someone took that picture of me wearing a fedora. It was like... Uh, the anti-fascist protesters tried to beat me up but <laughs> I made it back to my dorm but I made it back to my dorm <laughs> free me low <laughs> fuck I wish I'd seen that yeah yeah it was what's really the deal funny. What's going, what happened to those protests what ha- the people didn't want Milo to fucking be there yeah they didn't want Milo to speak but wasn't so. it like what no one was talking about was that Milo went there to fucking out uh, yeah, he was gonna dox immigrants? people. Yeah, he was gonna like what? drop yeah. docs of like students who were undocumented immigrants. Really? Yeah, yeah, he's a piece of shit, dude. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. Yeah, because like you probably I don't know should should fucking dumb motherfuckers be allowed to talk at college campuses? I guess so, but it, as long as they're not doxing people, right? Like, yeah, no, I mean it wasn't like he was just gonna go like. I'm gay and I'm a, I but lo- I suck black cock. but I suck black cock and I fucking hate black people and women and women <laughs> disgusting and I like you making him Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> and, and so, and I don't see fucking guy people so, and this is fucking the guys. trans are just going it's into the don't, bathroom don't, 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 don't want to vote for fucking Donald Trump so, <laughs> and I don't understand why my man's got a fatter face than I realized. Everyone was saying he like, looks like Milo's shit. sexy, but yeah. he's not. Dude. No, my looks in bad shape. Yeah, that's why people are always surprised to see what good shape I'm in. You yeah, know, because they think I'm going to be in terrible shape. Well, you got that expensive haircut; it's grown yeah. out nice. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, I need another expensive haircut. That's the key to 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 looking good, folks. Is you just just spend the money on a fucking good haircut. Mm-hmm. For years, I would just shave my own head. Mm-hmm. And I look like a neo-Nazi, <laughs> which was fine because I was, you know. But then I got older, and uh, I, I was like, I need one of the neo neo Nazi haircuts, oh, yeah. and I got the Macklemore, the good shit, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start wearing wigs. I'm tired of this shit, dude. What, should I get plugs? No, you, you should, should get like Shirley Temple ringlets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I That'd would, be great. Dude, I wish that was what no. My hair what I want like. you to have is a Jerry curl. Hell yes, that would be perfect. You understand how Soul down love? I would be for <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> Stop with a Jerry curl. <laughs> I would love that, dude. <laughs> yeah. Then that I have be, to get velour tracksuits yeah. and wear them. Everywhere. Velour tracksuits, one of those long, uh, uh, dangly cross earrings that Sinbad has. Yes, those ones that are like kind of always moving percent. as you're yes. talking. <laughs> yes. Oh my fucking god, dude. Dude, I want you to look like a fucking like a like a spicy ethnic secretary from like <laughs> 1992 what what's the technology on me being able to get a jerry curl it's I non-existent mean, again on. all the here's the thing man Plugs. all the things to make men's bodies better we don't have any of that technology back to the initial point when we started this episode because men would go crazy with it what is it going to take plugs how long work. do you think plugs don't really work a lot of men plugs have definitely worked yeah but they look weird jeremy piven LeBron James. They LeBron doesn't weird. have plugs. Of course he has plugs. They look bad then. They looked bad, but then 
every season he comes out with better and better technology. Yeah. Because oh. getting plugs for a black guy was tough for a while. Yeah, I like I like the black guys that still do the the balding black guy look. That's the best look. If LeBron actually let his shit like go bald and was like still dunking, that like, would be awesome. You're like, right. Look amazing. A balding like George, afro. A balding afro. <laughs> like fucking Clyde Drexler. Yeah. That's he such a good look. Sick. Or even what is he doing? Black guys with bald heads look the coolest. If oh, LeBron yeah. went full Jordan, full shaved head, clean. The people Jordan invented that shit. Yeah. He was the first guy to do it. Yeah. He also and invented he cool the Hitler drink. mustache. Yeah, that was so awesome. Yeah, well, he was so confident from the shaved head thing that he thought he could pull off the Hitler mustache and he never really did. I bet you he could have pulled it off if he did it in his prime. But it was he had lost cachet at that point. Yeah. You can't be over the hill. With a fucking Hitler mustache. He was wearing like uh, faded Jinkos. Yeah, he had a real weird fashion sense. He still does. Yeah, he dresses bad. But he's got a sexy ass wife. Yeah, yeah. Sexy well, that's Latina. He was horrible to his to his, his first wife. First wife. Yeah. That he has children with. Yeah. They tried to play basketball at university. Do you buy the conspiracy theory about baseball and gambling and the mafia? The mob killed his dad? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think so, too. It's so much cooler. Yeah, yeah. If that's the truth. It's true. I think it's true. This is the best look. Is completely bald Travolta. (laughs) When he had the earring and the goatee. Oh, yeah. That's from that movie, Paris with Love. Yeah, he looks like a genie. Dude, that movie is so (laughs) funny. Did you watch that movie? Did we watch it together? I I remember remember that story about him... uh, Trying to jack off his like a masseuse. masseuse yeah, yeah, well, no, constantly up, he's trying to jack or whatever. No, mm. no, no. There have been multiple male masseuses that have said <laughs> that he has tried to jack them off. That is, which is the flipping. opposite. Yeah, yeah, which is yeah, the yeah. opposite of what a massage client relationship <laughs> is supposed to be. He just goes into a restaurant and tries to cook a meal. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's an insult. I want to get a happy ending massage, dude. <laughs> Adam, yeah. where did you go? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, Hold on. I, this <laughs> place on Canal. Yeah, look at this. There's this place. I'm assuming this is like Ridgewood or something. This place is just called Kike Barbershop. No, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, it's Kike. <laughs> no, it's... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, it's a shortened version of the name Enrique. Kike. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's serious. Yeah. K-I-K-E Barbershop. Yeah, K-I-K-E. Guys named Enrique go by Kike. Which is K-I-K-E. Is there an apostrophe before the first No, K? dude. No. It's just Kike Barbershop. Yeah, it's a Dominican barbershop with a Dominican flag. Yeah, it's definitely a dude named Enrique. Kike? Kike Barbershop. That's so funny. But funny. here's the thing. He has to have yeah. an accountant that set up that yeah. business for him. <laughs> what do you mean accountant? I mean, the accountant's not going to be like... You don't think like, the Dominican I think this is a account? great name, Kike. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to run into any problems. I'm reporting you to the ADL. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Amber just sent us. Oh, she sent us to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Were you about to completely forget that I just showed that picture and then show it again? <laughs> no. Because you also got that son. text? No. I just. Sorry. Oh, uh, wait. Check, check out what Amber just sent me. Bitch. Amber just sent me a Bitch picture. Bitch ass yeah, my it's, voice doesn't sound like that. That's me, Adam Freeland. I'm Adam Freeland. My throat's ruined from vaping cum. <laughs> I vaped cum. too much men's cum <laughs> into my lungs, and I got pop cum lung. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to see John Wick too? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. You want to go tomorrow? I feel like... No, dude. I'm we a- should go to the drive-thru. We should get that 57 Chevy like we were talking. <laughs> and we should all go to the drive-thru together and hold Make hands out. in the front and seat. suck each other off. And watch John... Stav has to wear a poodle skirt. I will. And then I'll fuck a poodle. If you guys had to fuck one type of dog, what kind of dog would you fuck? My dog, Isis? No, Isis has those saggy-ass titties. Dude, she's so ugly. I took a picture of her sleeping the other day. She's so fucking ugly. Here's, here's a great, great headline. Sorry, we're all just sort of fucking around on our phones now. <laughs> yeah. This is a great headline from well, 11 day, days ago in the New York Daily News. Judy Garland was molested by Wizard of Oz munchkins, says Nuh-uh. ex-husband. Yeah. Whoa. Legendary actress Judy Garland to get drugs, molested. Right? was molested by several actors who portrayed munchkins in the Wizard of Oz. Whoa. What does that mean? They grabbed the titty or they put their whole little hands in her pussy? <laughs> they grabbed yeah. her pussy. <laughs> this is why unions are a problem. Just a little hand in a pussy. If, How many yeah. midget hands do you think could if fit they didn't one have, pussy? If they didn't have the... the <laughs> The TSAG, the Tiny Screen Actors Guild, <laughs> these people wouldn't be able to, you know, uh, have meetings and yep, figure out true. that they're all pedophiles.
files. They <laughs> hid behind the collective I, bargaining I, I, rights. Yeah, I, well, imagine that like you're a midget, right? Strike yeah. one. Now you're a midget <laughs> pedophile. Okay, well, you got to be the. Doesn't you know, that cancel out? You're the only gay Eskimo in that situation, <laughs> right? That's how you got to feel. And you're on the set of The Wizard of Oz, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna get molest this kid, I guess. It's but like, Judy Garland wasn't a kid. Yes, yeah, she, she was. How old? She's she probably eighteen. Yeah. She was um, DTF. No, dude, she was like four, she was like fourteen years old. Then no, she was. She was she was young. No, in The Wizard of Oz. She was on mad pills, dude, and like drugs. Judy Garland. And shit. What's The Wizard of Oz? Nineteen thirty eight. Wizard of Oz, uh, uh, nineteen, uh, yeah, nineteen forty-five, uh, right, the no. day of Hiroshima, same day. <laughs> yeah, Judy Garland was born in nineteen twenty-two. Uh, Wizard of Oz was nineteen thirty-nine, so they probably filmed. Oh, damn, it she was sixteen. Th- yeah, she was sixteen. So legal. Yeah. Um, Suggestive eyebrows. Well, back to my point is like you yes. know. You're a, this midget pedophile. Mm-hmm. Sorry, uh, little people. Little person. Pedophile. You're a little person. You're a little people people person. <laughs> You're a little. Pe- <laughs> l- uh, the little, You're a little diddle people. The little, little, little diddle people. person. Little people. When you're a little diddler. diddle person, which is the the term that midget pedophiles prefer, by the way, <laughs> is little diddle person. <laughs> Why do they prefer little, little person? Little person. <laughs> little little person is what midget pedophiles prefer to be called. So I don't want to offend any of the midget pedophiles that might be listening. So you're, let's say you're a little diddle person and you're on the set of Wizard of Oz, and you decide, okay, I'm going to molest this girl. Yeah. You do it out of sight of your your coworkers because you don't want to get caught. Somehow she was molested by multiple little diddle people, which means, and, and first of all, imagine Ned Flanders trying to say that. <laughs> little diddly diddly little diddly diddly diddly. Imagine Ned Flanders trying to say little Italy. Imagine him trying to do that verse from the big pun. A couple of middlemen didn't do diddly. What is that shit? What song? There's a big pun verse. Um, Anyhow, anyway, finish. How, that. Yeah, yeah, how do these fucking? How do you like? What are the odds that there's another midget pedophile on the set of that project with you? They're not how excited, pedophiles. They want to fuck normal women. This is the forties. So sixteen year old is like thirty two. That's years true. Old. Yeah, it's like that so- sound of music. Uh, I am sixteen, going on seventeen. They're like, yeah. we have to get married. It's like, I want to fuck? fuck your ass. I guess the boy was about to die in World War Rolf. II. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was a Nazi, right? No, uh, or yeah, yeah, yeah he was a Nazi. Was yeah, a Nazi. he had to join the Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Rolf. Yeah, right, right. His name was Rolf, dude, in the yeah. World War II movie. Mm-hmm. Um, here's, here's the here's the. I kind of want to watch The Sound of Music on this TV. It I good. love The Sound of I Music. I did when I was a kid. Yeah. My I sister that was in The Sound of Music. No, she wasn't. I know all the songs. Dude, that movie came out in 1950. She was in the movie, dude. She was in a play version of it. They she don't make play versions of movies. Here's the yeah, thing they that do, Ned Flanders couldn't say. Dead in the middle of little Italy, little did we know that we riddled some middlemen who didn't do diddly. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, Big Pun was great. He really was. R.I.P. Wasn't he really horrible to women? Yeah, but who cares? I mean, I don't, but... I don't care. How did he fuck when he was that fat? Yeah. It's insane how like fat he was. He was. So if you look at well, a lot of that, a lot of that happened in the last like year and a half of his life. Oh, yeah. He gained like 500 pounds in like a two-year span. Damn. Yeah, because when he died, he was like damn near 700 pounds. He was like a five, TLC four. special. Him, yeah. yeah. Um. So wait, what happened with these fucking little? What did happen with these midgets? They fucking they fucked Judy. Garland? Yeah, they fucked Judy Garland. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Good for them. What the fuck? Molested? What does molest mean? They grabbed a titty. I'm reading it now. Ex Munchkins. I guess they were called Munchkins back then. <laughs> Yeah, but you're right, Adam. Why how about, munch, how about munch kids? Yeah, why is that the one? They're munchkins prefer? that go down on, <laughs> on children. These munchkins love the munch kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's the headline on the yeah. New York Times. Munchkins love munch kids. Yeah. Um, yeah, why is it, little person? Uh, they alleged. Hold on, I gotta get the door. Is that JP? What time is it? How long have we been doing? Yeah, why do they prefer little person? I don't know. What is a good term, though, for midget? What do you think it would be? Uh, well, a dwarf is like Lord of the Rings. Dwarf's funny. They don't like dwarf because that's like the kind of like elven. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. I don't know. What about miniature? What about they don't like guinea guinea person? Like they guinea don't, pig. They don't like gnome. They don't like gnome. What's up, baby boy? 
What do you no. think a good term for midget would be? No, we save it for the next episode. Okay, all right. Oh yeah, we, <laughs> we gotta we gotta wrap this. How long up. have we been doing? Fifty eight minutes. Oh, oh, so this one's done. I guess if you want to start shaving two minutes off at the Come end. Come on, you fucking. In, you in know six what? weeks, what is it gonna be? We're doing Look what twelve minute dude. episodes. Jeez, Trying to I'm pinch sorry, pennies. Dude. I wonder what impulse of yours led for that. I'm just saying they pay five dollars a month. <laughs> All right, no, hold on. Let me get back to this. So here. she got fucked by the dwarves. Uh, I'm trying to. They would make Judy's life miserable on set by putting their hands under her dress. Oh, that's not- <laughs> the men were forty or more years old. Yeah, but they're children. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> their little ass hands probably felt so funny touching pussies. Yeah. It must feel weird to have a little no, hand. Their hands <laughs> Imagine like a little hand jerk. They thought they could get away with anything because they were so small. <laughs> they would hide in the cracks of yeah. the floor. What's the source on this? Is uh, her ex-husband? Oh, what's the what? Who wrote this article? Um, uh, I don't know. Who cares? What the fuck? Do you David Carr. David Carr, the no, quarterback? No. Yeah, David Carr. For the Houston Texans? Yeah. He's not in the league anymore. No shit. His brother plays for the Raiders. He's my he's my my boy, dude. Yeah. Uh, Love's memoir. That must feel, would you like to get jerked off by a midget? I say yes. To get jerked it would make your off dick by a midget. Humongous. I, w- I don't... You know what? I your won't... Your dick would look so big. I won't get a hand in job. little ass hand. Unless it's from a professional hand job pr- practitioner. <laughs> well, okay, or what myself. about a Chinese midget? If she's working at and those little hands get right in the crack. First of all, she gives you a great regular massage because mm-hmm. her little ass hands get in the cr- nooks and crannies of your back. Or she does one of those walkie kind of moves. Or she walks on you yeah, yeah, and yeah. she's little and it doesn't hurt as bad. I want and a massage from someone off. with elephantiasis of the uh, of the testicles. I went to a basketball <laughs> camp for two weeks. My cousin. Uh-huh. And yeah. I was always terrible. I was always terrible at basketball. You went to basketball was, camp for two weeks. I was like uh, included with my cousin in mm. his oh, yeah. him going to basketball camp, and it, it sucked. I was just humiliated every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at the end, they would like do like a fucking speech thing where you know the head coach or whatever would be like, "Okay, uh, perseverance. What does that mean? You know, that means not being a, a pussy. You know, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they you know they pick a word and uh-huh. then they break it down. So assume you and me. You know that kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, but this, there was a kid there who had a brother that would come at the end of the day with the mom who would pick him up, and the kid had elephantiasis. Before I knew what it was, wait, elephantitis? N- uh, elephantiasis. Is that the, is that's that the w- name? That's the actual oh, name. Elephantitis. Of oh, huge balls? No, elephantiasis is the disease. I don't think elephantitis is either like a fucking deprecated term for it or. Okay. Anyway, or, anyway. it's where. Any, anyway, so he. Wait, 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 wait. Elephantiasis is where any part of your body at any moment can it's, like it's, explode. It and swells get really with big. like edema. Yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think elephantitis because I used to say elephantitis, and I don't. I think that because okay. elephantitis would it would refer to a swelling of the elephant. Mm. You know. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was a big ass elephant. No, I just thought it would meant you had huge. Anyway, balls. what? Is, so this guy had. What, well, yeah. So we, this kid would come at the end of the day, and like he would be able. You know, he's disabled because he had. I guess maybe he's retarded also, but he had like a he, one of his knees was huge. Hell yeah. But then he also his index finger was huge. Oh. So he had this like big war number one <laughs> finger. <laughs> and he would sit there at the end of the day and wave his big finger around. Oh, and we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> You know, I think a coach would be giving a speech and this kid with this giant weird disabled finger. That's awesome. Uh, You know my man fingered good, though. Yeah, yeah. He had a dick-sized finger. Oh, dude, me and Norman Wilkerson had like a fucking eight-week period where we would just do jokes about that kid and like, you know. Wait, Norman? Oh, he was really into it. No, no, no. I told him about it. Norman is a 49-year-old man. Yeah, yeah, of course. Story. (laughs) And he goes, he goes, uh, he goes, uh, like, uh, he was really into finger painting. Uh, One day he did the living room and, uh, you know. uh, (laughs) Yeah, he got. He's like they tried to buy him a a Chinese finger trap, so they got like a director's megaphone. (laughs) Like you know, any situation it could be. Oh, that's great. What you could you know do with a giant finger? Yeah, yeah. Um, So yeah, that's the episode. Making fun of that. Pretty good. Disabled kid. You know, hopefully they you know found a a stint for him. You know, yeah. and he's got a normal finger now. What do you do that? You just fucking suck out the. Is it pus or what the fuck is in your? It's probably fluid. It's fluid. Yeah. Yeah. Get it out. Yeah. Yeah, but it could kill him. Yeah, what? he needs that fluid. Can to that live. happen to your he dick? Can fluid. It, you, it's like a camel, you know. <laughs> you just yeah. drill it. You just put a straw in put there. A straw yeah, in there. <laughs> put a little fucking. All right, bye. <laughs>